You can crack neat PG if you follow the basic principles and keep working consistently. In this video, I'll show you how to go about it right from the first read to the final revision and I'll also talk about my preparation. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Nikhil and I've done my MBBS from HBTMC and Dr. Arun Cooper Hospital, Mumbai and I've secured an All India rank of 2011 in NEET PG 2023. So let's get going on the way to crack NEET PG. Some of you had asked for my study record, so here it is. I hope I'm able to put the whole thing here. Alright, so the base over which everything will be built is clearing your concepts and your first read, multiple revisions, questions practice, previous year questions or previous year topics and concise notes. Now this will apply to NEET and NEXT both. With NEXT, just the timeline of doing things may change but the basic principles will remain the same. So keeping that in mind, let's move forward to our first read. So the first proper read with understanding and clearing of concepts is really important. This is what will form the base of all of your revisions. The stronger your concepts are, the faster you will be able to revise them later on. Now here I'm talking about the first proper read after doing classes. Many concepts get cleared while doing the classes or lectures itself if done attentively. But naturally, all of the concepts can't get cleared in the first go. So your first proper reading is to fill the gaps in those concepts. So for all of those who are in internship or in post internship phase right now, aim to finish this in 100 to 120 days. Now my scene was a little different actually. I did my first proper read before the 2022 NEET PG for around two months but that didn't go very well. And then after that, for NEET PG 2023, I did my first proper read in three months. So for me, technically speaking, it was a total of five months. But for me, that was worth it because I got my concepts very strong and so my revisions were faster. Now, I've also heard about many people cracking NEET PG in just five months or even three months of preparation. And they claim to have done it by using only PYQs. But that might not be the whole story here. Maybe they studied well during their MBBS itself or maybe they're just super talented. And so they could pull it off. If you think that you fall into one of these categories, then by all means, go ahead and prepare only in five months but personally i feel that these are the exceptions rather than the rule and besides that you might be able to crack the exam in just that much of preparation but your base and your concepts might still be weak and somewhere down the lane it is going to be a problem also i'll tell you something interesting here the inict may 23 exam actually surprised many people because in this exam there were not many previous year questions and that actually goes against the norm of inict being heavily pyq based now this might just be an idiosyncrasy but i think that in such a scenario the ones who have their basic concepts cleared would have an edge over the ones who simply did only revisions and PYQs. So that also emphasizes the importance of the first proper read. Now preferably do this from the main notes that you have made but if for some reason you don't have notes of some subjects then you can go for ready-made notes. Now you're studying but how do you know whether your concepts are getting cleared and whether your understanding is good or not? For this, test yourself with QBanks to see how well you understood the topic and also to get into the habit of solving questions. Now when you're done with your first proper read before beginning with your revisions, that's one important thing that you need to do and that is to give your first grand test. Do not procrastinate on this. Don't keep waiting for the motivation. Just give it. If you haven't given any grand test yet, then give a grand test immediately after watching this video. This is mainly to get in momentum. We all know that it is more difficult to get a body from rest to motion than to keep it moving. And the first GT does exactly that. It also gives you a baseline score to work on. Now just don't worry about the score on this one because it is going to be bad. And if your first grand test score is good, then congratulations my friend, you've already started off strong. Now once your first reading is done, the next important thing is multiple revisions. Multiple revisions are the key to retain info by spaced repetition. I did three revisions. Now in general, how you should go about this is that your first revision should be 90 to 100 days, your second revision should be in around 40 to 50 days, and your third revision should be in the last 7 to 10 days before the exam. Now some people also add a third revision of 20 days after the second one before the final revision right before the exam. Personally, I hadn't followed that, but you may add that if time permits. Now here, remember to use these time frames as just guides and not as absolute values. You may modify the schedule a little bit with a few days here and there based on your preparation and your level of understanding currently. Personalize it for yourself. I gave more time to the first reading but I compensated for it in revisions. Now one question which many people get is where to do revisions from. Now your first revision is mostly going to be from your main notes itself. I was able to do my first revision quickly from my main notes because I had made them myself and I had also read them and strengthened my concepts before. And this is why I keep stressing, make your own notes. 
as far as possible they get imprinted in your mind and the retention is also much better now alternatively you can also do the rapid revision videos offered by the platforms like web ladder and maro maro also has an intern mode for this where it includes only the important topics and excludes all the extra stuff these rapid revision videos cover all the essential and important topics in a quick manner and are great for revisions even if for whatever reason you weren't able to do a proper first read of your main notes you can still directly do rapid revision videos also and that will also be good enough so rapid revision videos plus pyqs plus test and discussions plus grand tests is is actually sufficient to score a good rank in neat pg now there are also some things to do side by side with revision and the first of them is making concise notes now this is very important to make your further revisions more effective watch this video for tips on how to make concise notes i've literally spoon fed everything in that video according to some people now these concise notes or the 20th notebook will enable you to have all the important and high yielding points in one place and it will help you revise faster when you get closer to the exam this is especially for the last 7 to 10 days revision which might also be called as the most important revision of all for neat pg another thing you do along with revisions is practice questions This includes the test and discussions of the subject wise tests, custom modules, grand tests and the PYQs module. Stick to one source for notes, but multiple sources can be used for questions. This would also help to keep the FOMO about sources down as I've also mentioned in my video about how to avoid FOMO. So anyway, let's come to TNDs or SWTs. Now this can be done during the first read too and also during the first revision. The MARO equivalent of a TND is subject wise test that is SWT. Basically after reading every subject, give its TND. Now TNDs have questions on existing information plus new information. information as well so whatever information you find new add it to your main notes or to your concise notes or you can make a separate tnd notebook i personally did not like the idea of a separate tnd notebook so i didn't do that coming over to custom modules if done correctly custom modules can be very useful now these can be done actually any time during the preparation during your first read first revision or second revision now there are a bunch of ways in which you can use custom modules so for example if you're reading a certain big subject and you've been reading it for a very long time it's possible that you may lose touch with the other subject so for this you can do a custom module which has all the subjects except the one that you're reading right now this will enable you to stay in touch with all the subjects also if you frequently find yourself getting a certain type of question wrong in grand tests and also from certain subjects you can do custom modules of only those subjects and those types of questions say for example you are getting image based questions wrong very frequently especially from dermat and anatomy so you can make a custom module with only the hashtag image based and only the subjects dermat and anatomy that's just two ways to do it and there can be many other possible ways of doing custom modules this feature actually has a lot of potential Now grand tests are a very important pillar of neat pg preparation. Regularly giving grand tests gets you used to sitting for 3 hours continuously and solving questions and you get into the momentum. After a point giving these grand tests won't even tire you out as much as they used to. So initially give a grand test every 2 weeks and then switch to give a grand test weekly. Now Maro already does this for you by itself. So just follow along with the Maro grand tests and try giving every grand test. Experiment with different styles and patterns of approaching the grand tests and stick with the one that works the best for you. Also when you're reviewing the grand tests relevant pearls are mentioned below certain questions so be sure to bookmark those pearls because they will be high yielding now reviewing grand tests is in fact more important than just giving a grand test so make sure that you review them properly and add the wrong question topics to your concise notes or 20th notebook when done consistently over time this will make your concise notes very high yielding and you'll also see your grand test scores rising speaking of high yielding next comes previous year questions Now previous year questions are known to be frequently repeated or rather the topics from previous year questions or PYTs. So make use of the PYQs module in Maro. It's a special dedicated module at the bottom of the QBanks page. This module has previous year questions from the last 5 years. Solve this module during your first revision or your second revision before or after doing a certain subject. This will tell you what to focus on more as the exam keeps coming closer. Alternatively, you can also make a custom module with only the hashtag recent need selected. But keep this in mind that this also fetches the previous year questions from beyond the last five years too so in this case you might also get very weird questions like the dimensions of tympanic membrane yeah i got that question once when i was doing a custom module and finally when you're getting closer to the exam it's time for your final revision Now if you've done everything right so far you should have a concise notebook or a 20th notebook ready and also maybe a grand test notebook and a TND notebook and you would have done all of your PYQs now it is time to just review them now in this last 7 to 10 days don't think of any new content just revise your 20th notebook review your PYQs review your old grand tests and also have a look at the bookmark pearls This will ensure that you are getting all the high yield content in right before the exam. And after doing all this, the only thing that's left is rocking the exam. Watch this video in which I share my neat PG journey in short. And before signing off, here's another reminder. Go give your first grand test. I hope this video helps you out. Leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more such content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.